right, folks. Well, welcome to Captain Day Sport Fishing. This box is a $600 box. Well, this is what you have to pay for the privilege of owning a Suzuki outboard or any outboard or any boat. This is a big box with a little tiny box in it. And that's what my dad said. This is what you do for the privilege of owning their products. Here it is. All wrapped up. All the way from Yokohama, Japan or something. I don't know. But I have never in my entire life of owning a boat, owning an outboard motor, owning anything marine related have had a trim and tilt motor go bad until now. Yep. There's six hundred dollars. It's almost as if NASA built this, right? Go to do a charter the other day. This has been my trim and tilt has been going. I don't know how to do it other than sound effects. And then, of course, going down. That's what it's been doing. Of course, what the hell do I know about installing this? I don't have an O-ring, so I can't even install it, I guess. I go to do a charter the other day, and I go to leave the house, so I tilt the engine. And what's it do? I made it made some unbelievable noises. And then everything. So then by the time I get to the bait shop, and then I get to the boat ramp, and I go to tilt the engine down, it does nothing. So, thank God I was taking out a regular customer who can go again, but I'm always under the gun. Today is Thursday, October 17th, and I've got till Sunday to have this done. So I should have enough time, and I should be getting the O-ring tomorrow. If I don't, I'm screwed. That's what you've been seeing a little bit of the footage of, of me doing contortions to try to do this all myself. And I've never done it before. But this is basically a disaster, this entire thing. Everything to do with the last few months. No, this past summer. Total disaster. Don't ask me for recommendations because, in my opinion, really all outboards suck. All of them. It's just what to what degree do they suck. I'll get back with you. Well, hey folks, how did you like that footage? I sped it along because it's been a three-day process. What you just watched was three days. Today's really, or yesterday, I guess, was the third day. Today's the uh, 19th, I believe. That was a little bit of footage of me doing nothing but changing this out. What is this? This is a $600 Suzuki Power Trim and Tilt Motor. Have I ever done a power trim and tilt motor before in my life? No. Have I ever had a problem with a power trim and tilt motor in my life? No. 
Has any boat I've ever owned had a power trim and tilt problem? No. $600, folks. And three days of labor. And it's raining and blowing like crazy now, uh, Saturday. And I've been working on it for three days. And I still have to exercise the trim and tilt to continue to get some of the air out. And if you don't know who's among you, let me tell you who's among you as viewers. He goes by Oral Walk, I believe, and he may get embarrassed. <laughs> but Oral Walk is a subscriber of mine. His name is Gary. He's up in Long Island, New York. He's a marine mechanic, outboard mechanic up there. Tells me he's retired New York Police Department. Oh, I cannot tell you. I cannot explain to you how Gary has been so fundament fundamental to this channel with a lot of the projects that I've undertaken. I am not an outward mechanic by any means. And my attention span for mechanical major in-depth things is about that big. He has been so helpful. Calling, we call, we text back and forth. He has walked me through so many projects. I'm like forever in his debt. I told him if I could afford it, I would get him a round trip ticket from Long Island to Jacksonville, Florida for the weekend or a three-day weekend or something. I'd pay his hotel and we'd go fishing, just him and me. I've, I've done a lot of these things, you know, from the fuel cooler to this motor right here. I have never, ever done anything with the trim and tilt. Ever. On any boat. And I've had from 1974, Evinrude, 15 kickers, to HPDI Yamahas, to a Merc, to two-stroke Suzukis, two-stroke Yamahas, Hondas, two Hondas, a Suzuki, a whole, a whole plethora of them HPDIs, Yamahas, and I've never, ever once done anything with anything to do with the power trim and tilt. So everything I'm always doing is completely self-taught. But the only reason that I could get through it is because of somebody with the generosity that Gary has. I mean, I'm literally at a dead at a dead end many times and he's helped me. Yesterday, me and my dad are over here. And I mean, I've done everything. And the $600 motor's running, but the trim and tilt's not even working. It won't even raise the engine. It comes slamming down one time that, you know, a lot of these things that I'm doing, yeah, you can look up on the internet, you can look this, you can do, you could spend a ton of time. I have no time. Tomorrow I got a charter with a regular customer. Sunday. Hopefully all this weather is going to clear up, even though it's going to be probably blowing. But I told my dad, I said, standing right here, it's, I can see, but it's as if there, I get to certain points as if I get, get where I'm just looking into a dark room and there's no light there. Light would be a hint of where to go next. And if you don't understand what I'm talking about, mechanics will probably understand. But take yourself from the point where you've never done any project. And the big deal is, is it's your livelihood. I just can't run out and get another $20,000 outboard. It ain't going to happen. That brings me to my next thing. Yesterday, I had this big video planned. Big video. And I just don't have the time to do it. 
Because I'm fishing like Sunday, then Tuesday, Wednesday, then like Friday, Saturday. And I'm hoping we're even going to do all this. But yesterday was the Jetty Wolf's 13th birthday. And I was going to explain long-term ownership of this boat, financing, uh, motors, everything that's ever went wrong, like buying parts and things like that. I was going to go through it. It was going to be a 30-minute video. Well, I just don't have time now. I've got to button the entire engine back up, and I've got to exercise some more air out of the uh, hydraulics in the power trim and tilt. And I'm under the gun because look at the weather. I mean, it's, it's been raining and blowing all morning. I don't get to do what I want to do. It all seems many times like it's just all fun and games, but it's not. And I really wanted to tell you, my subscribers who comment, not all of you comment, I know, 90% percent of the subscribers don't even view my videos but I want to tell you how valuable the friendship of somebody like Gary has been because man has this guy got me out of some pickles Whew. I'm high stress I'm high anxiety I'm high energy but I'm low in patience. <laughs> I'm low in patience many times. I don't like not knowing what I'm doing. And that stretches all into people who call me and, you know, at 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock in the morning and they go, hey, I want to go fishing. I go, what day would you like to choose for, you know, oh, right now. Even that is very aggravating because there's no plan. I'm just an Uber driver. I don't like being an Uber driver and I don't like being an Uber driver through life. I had this big giant video planned. I was going to do it up in the boat. Um, I still will probably do it. And it's going to be just a boat ownership type thing. You know, and I've, I've alluded to certain things, but I've never sat down and pointed and talked about what's, what it takes. You boat owners sort of know, but then maybe you don't know when you're under extreme pressure. Extreme pressure to get things done. The reason I do this is because there's no mechanic that's going to go, just, okay, bring it in, drop it off, we'll try to get you out of here in two days. It ain't going to happen. And I can't afford it. This was 600. Add probably another 600, at least, I would say, in markup, in labor costs. It sounds easy to, for a lot of people to just drop $1,200. Because let me tell you, I not only bought this, and I've been busy on this engine for three solid days. Yesterday was kind of cool, really cool in the morning, and I go to get my truck to go to the store, and of course it's a Dodge, and it has the Cummins diesel in it, and what diesels have is two batteries. And I get in the truck, and I've got a heater element built into the air, into the intake, and what it does is it, it heats up the initial intake of air when it's cool. And that thing turns on, and it just goes, and it kind of turns off, and a little light comes up on the dash. I let that do its thing, and I go to start the truck. It won't start. 600. Then the batteries are dead. So I decide, okay, I'm going to have to go get new batteries, and I spent 400 on some AGMs. Because anytime I can, I want to upgrade a little bit. So I put in some absorbed glass mats. 400 bucks worth by the time I get out of there. And I have to install those. Then an O-ring that goes right here that I ordered. Still isn't here. Still isn't here. So I have to drive all the way across town to a Suzuki dealer. 
and buy that. And I bought a spare in case I rolled it and broke it. It goes right on here. And then this goes into your trim and everything's run on that little tiny piece of metal right there. Okay, in the course of three, four days, $1,000. What did I just spend last month? $1,000 on tires. And everybody's always like, oh, charters cost too much. Basically, I'm running $175 to $200 per person. Just depends on what time of year it is. That is so cheap. Rods, bait, safety gear, boat. Not having to do anything except show up with a lunch. I don't want to hear it if somebody thinks that charters are too expensive. Um, so there you go. Following up on this video will be maybe a QA, and a you know, I'm going to try to answer. Um, just 13 years, how I got this boat. I, I don't believe I ever really went through the process of having an aluminum boat built. It's very, very, very different than going down to Bob, Billy Bob's boat yard and just going with the wife. Hey, you like the blue one? It's a whole different process. Whole different process. And I know there's a few of you out there that are interested in that process. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to do that in the next week or two. I got to get through this week. I got enough difficulties with fall weather, tornado warnings this morning, tropical storm in the Gulf of Mexico, you name it. That's it. So I can see I'm running about 15 minutes on this. And that footage in before, before this was all me just kind of doing some work at high speed. Just to motor through it. Just so you can see. I had to be a contortionist. Um, I was covered in oil. and uh, But this is dedicated to Gary. Thank you very much. I'll see you on the next one. And did I mention that Gary has more patience? I probably would have with anybody. I just don't know how he put up with me, you know, through a couple of these projects. Literally just texting and on the phone. I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. He has got more patience than Job. I mean, it's unbelievable. Because I don't know if I'd put up with me. I don't know if I'd put up with myself. It's just... He's just a helpful individual. Thanks, Gary.